بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از اسد یعقوب اینڈ ان دس ویڈیو آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو گیو یو آ سالڈ پلین فار ففٹین ڈیز فار آئلس پریپریشن سو اٹس اے ففٹین ڈے پلان فار آئلس پریپریشن اینڈ دس از آل اباؤٹ ریڈنگ ہاؤ ٹو پریپیئر فار ریڈنگ ان ففٹین ڈیز آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو گیو یو آ یونیک اینڈ ڈفرینٹ پلان Uh, well, guys, I have noticed one thing. Many students are struggling. Rather, I should, I should use the word suffering. Many students are suffering from reading, IELTS reading, because we don't read English on the regular basis. We are not in habit of reading books in English, magazines in English, newspapers in English. And when it comes to IELTS reading, where there are articles based on science, technology, research, innovation and all that, we fail to give good results in academic IELTS reading as well as gender training IELTS reading. In order to work on this plan, you need all 15 Cambridge IELTS books. If you are gender training candidate, then you can have book uh, 14 to 15 all in gender training. If you are academic candidate, then you can have all academic reading books. Okay. Now, what's the plan? Let me get down to main business. The plan is you will have a pencil and you will read the passages only without considering the questions. You will not even read the questions. You will not even look at the questions. You will just read the passage. You will read the passage sentence by sentence. After reading each sentence, you will just look up and see how much you understood from that sentence. Then read the next sentence up to the full stop. Look up and think what you understood from that very sentence. So like this sentence by sentence, Paragraph by paragraph, you are going to read the passages, one thing. Second, as you come across any word that is difficult, your, your mobile will be with you and you will install any good dictionary in your mobile from Play Store or iOS. So if it is iOS, you can just go, do it from there. So you will install a good dictionary and if you come across a difficult word, immediately underline that difficult word. Type the word here and see, okay, the meaning of this word is this. You can write the meaning there and then move on, right? Again, I'm telling you at this point, you are only focusing your reading comprehension. You will not focus any question, true, false, not given, list of headings, blah, blah, blah. You are only going to focus your reading comprehension with the help of passages. So one passage, one test. That contains three passages in uh, academic reading and in general training reading there are five passages, four passages are short, one passage is long. You will read, I mean one complete test that, that has uh, three passages in less than one hour time or maybe you can take one hour time and every day you have to finish one book. Now for example book 15, you read all four tests. Three passages, that means 12. And don't read them all together. You should take a break because for reading also, you need to develop your stamina. Sometimes it becomes boring. Sometimes it becomes difficult. So for that, you can just while reading, you can take a sip of any sugary drink, right? Or any candy or chewing gum that can make you active and you can pay more attention. And as you read, visualize everything. Focus everything. Try to understand as much as possible. Do not read in the noisy environment. Like you are reading and someone calls you, I'm coming on the panya. Right? It's not that. And don't read with music on. Right? So you just need to sit down in a quiet place where you could concentrate. Because guys, without reading comprehension, if you do IELTS reading and you try to solve the test, you will not be able to get better results because the foundation of IELTS reading is your reading comprehension. Comprehension means what you read, how much you understand. If you understand everything you read, IELTS reading will not be a problem for you. So one book you will try to finish in one day. And by the way, 
if for example on sunday you are busy you can't do it then you can move on i mean you need working days actually so 15 working days you can do it 5 days a week and in 3 weeks you can finish it all even you can do it in 3 3 days a week and in 5 weeks you can finish it all but actually this plan is for 15 working days read every sentence up to the full stop if you find a new word look at the meaning focus grammar when it comes to grammar you just have to focus verbs helping verbs if they use any sort of uh, uh, modal verbs you can focus that right and within your heart i don't want you to translate everything but within your heart you can interpret the information and try to interpret the information english into english not english into urdu punjabi uh, hindi or your native language okay now once you do this day one it will be extremely boring you will be tempted to do anything else and all that but you have to be there day two it's going to be less boring but still boring day three again you will have some boredom but little interest day four more interest day five you will enjoy it day 6 7 8 you will love it and day 15 you will be able to improve your reading comprehension your sentence structure will improve your reading speed will improve all right your vocabulary will improve and it will improve so many things about you it will improve your knowledge it will improve your knowledge that you need for ielts reading especially academic reading even if you are academic candidate in some ielts books they have given two general training tests so you must read those tests those passages as well right i mean you should and if you are only general training candidate i advise you when you go back from book number 10 9 8 7 they are mainly they have academic tests and only two general training tests so whether you are academic or you are general training regardless of which ielts test you are going to take you must read all the passages with clear understanding you should have your own clear bag pencils and erasers and sharpeners and all that you should have your mobile with you and the dictionary should be in front of you right as you read try to make it interesting you find a new word underline the new word just go to the dictionary see how the word is pronounced see what is the meaning of the word and if you meet i mean when you meet the same word which you once checked in the dictionary second time your subconscious mind will give you a message you know this word you know the meaning of this word and you will be super excited that i know this word i know the meaning of this word so this excitement this feeling is going to help you pass your ielts with 7 band in reading 7.5 band in reading and even 8 band some of my students although they are very few they cleared their ielts with 9 band in ielts reading who knows you are the next one when you send me your trf and you say sir look i got 9 band in reading and i just followed your 15 day plan and i did that in 5 weeks but still i managed it and here it is okay so guys all the best thank you very much you know i teach the students on the daily basis when i teach them i teach ielts 6 days a week right and uh, i've got several classes hundreds of students and all that so when i teach them these ideas come to my mind and then in front of the camera i always share my best with you and i give you my 100% you know that i don't hide anything okay i also teach ielts online if you want to join my online ielts classes my whatsapp number is given you can contact me for that asad yakub truly wishes you best of luck take good care of yourselves allah hafiz